So in this example, when we are looking at this, we need to understand a couple things we have. Guys, we have the vector. We have the magnitude, right? And we have the angle. So let's just write down things we have. So we know the magnitude of the vector v is equal to 33. And we know the angle of the vector is equal to 136 degrees. So you know, using it in component form or as a linear combination is not really helpful. But form 2 has everything we need, right? It says the magnitude multiply the cosine of theta times sine of theta. So all I simply have is 33 times the cosine of 136 degrees, sine 136 degrees. And then, remember, you can think of the magnitude here as like your scalar, right? Because technically, shh, cosine of 136, sine of 136, that's giving you a vector that has a radius of or has a magnitude of. This is giving you the vector that has a magnitude of 1, right? Remember we did the little triangle. This gives you the magnitude of 1. So that's why you need to multiply by 33. So now I just take my handy dandy calculator, and I do cosine of 136, make sure I'm in degree mode. And I multiply, oh, let me just write it like this. Remember, guys, you multiply this times everything, 36 degrees, 33 times sine of 136. So when I do that and I round it um, to the nearest, let's do the nearest tenth, I get negative 23.74. And then over here, I have 33 times the sine of 136. And I get 22.92. And again, just a reminder, guys, for your test, you guys will have a calculator, OK? And we'll tell you about you know, rounding. Now, next thing, let's kind of make sense of this, right? We should always go back and check our answer and make sure like, the numbers make sense. Should our x coordinate be negative by looking at this graph? Yeah, should our y coordinate be positive? Should they be smaller than 33? Right, but they sh it looks like. Looks like they should be kind of relatively close to each other, right? Kind of looks like this is like almost like at a 45 kind of, right? It's not like almost at 90 where one side should be way shorter than the other, correct? So I'd say this looks pretty good. There's no numbers that are like a thousands or like decimals, so it looks like we did everything correctly, right? Okay. Well, that wasn't that bad. No? No? 